Before we delve into the mysteries of near-death experiences, hit that subscribe button and join us on this incredible journey. Today, we stand on the precipice of understanding, ready to dive into five astounding cases of real people who've brushed against the edge of life. These are tales that challenge our perceptions, stories that whisper of a world beyond our own. So, are you ready for the journey? Prepare to step into the unknown as we explore the edge of life. Our first case study involves a woman who, during a surgery, experienced what she describes as a journey through a dark tunnel towards a brilliant light. This woman, in the midst of a routine medical procedure, found herself detached from the physical world. She describes the sensation as feeling suddenly weightless, as if she were floating. Her journey commenced in a dark tunnel, but it was not a frightening darkness. Instead, it was a soothing, enveloping obscurity that seemed to hint at the presence of something greater. As she moved closer, a brilliant light at the end of the tunnel began to take shape. It was a light so radiant, so full of warmth, it consumed her entire field of vision. Within this light, she claims to have seen figures, beings of a sort, that radiated an immense feeling of peace and love. When she awoke from her surgery, she was a changed woman. The fear of death that once gripped her had vanished, replaced with a newfound appreciation for life. Her experience had transformed her outlook on life, death, and everything in between. She was no longer the same person who had entered that operating room. Her journey through the dark tunnel and towards the brilliant light had reshaped her understanding of existence itself. Her experience begs the question, is there truly a light at the end of the tunnel? Our second case is a man who, after a car accident, claims to have visited the afterlife. This is no ordinary tale. Imagine a collision so severe it teeters you on the edge of life and death. Now imagine an encounter that transcends our worldly understanding. Our protagonist, in the throes of his near-death experience, recounts meeting those he had loved and lost. He speaks of a reunion, not filled with sorrow, but with an overwhelming sense of love and acceptance. It was as if time had stood still, and the veil separating life and death had momentarily lifted. His journey didn't end there. He describes an ethereal landscape, a place of peace that defied description. It was neither here nor there, neither past nor future. It just was. And in that moment, he felt a profound sense of belonging, a connection that bridged the chasm between life and death. But against all odds, he returned. His recovery, nothing short of miraculous, baffled medical professionals. And yet for him, it was more than just a second chance at life. It was a transformation, a shift in his perception of death. No longer was death the end or something to fear. It was merely a transition, a doorway to something beyond our comprehension. His story challenges our conventional understanding of life and death. It beckons us to question, to ponder, and perhaps to believe in the extraordinary. It reminds us that sometimes a brush with the beyond can change everything. Our third case revolves around a child who, during a life-threatening illness, believes to have been saved by an unseen force. This is not an ordinary tale of survival. It's a story of a young boy on the brink, teetering between life and death. His world was engulfed in darkness, his body ravaged by illness. But in that black abyss, he found an unexpected companion, a comforting presence that seemed to guide him, holding his hand as he navigated the tumultuous sea of unconsciousness. The boy described this presence as warm, reassuring, a beacon of hope in the dreary landscape of his near-death journey. It was as if an unseen guardian had descended to guide him back to the realm of the living. His vivid descriptions of this encounter, though abstract, paint a picture of an experience that transcends our understanding of reality. His recovery was nothing short of miraculous. But what's even more fascinating is the profound impact this experience had on the boy's life. He emerged from the ordeal with a renewed sense of purpose and a deep understanding of life's fragility. His story has touched many, inspiring awe and wonder, and a renewed sense of faith in some. But it also raises questions. Questions about the existence of unseen forces, guardian angels perhaps? Is there a spiritual realm that we are yet to comprehend? Or was it the mind's way of coping with the harsh reality of impending death? His story stirs up a debate about the existence of unseen forces or guardian angels. Our final cases take us on a shared journey, two individuals, unrelated, yet bound by a common experience. Imagine, if you will, two strangers experiencing the same brush with death at the exact same time. Their hearts stop in unison, their breaths halt simultaneously, and for a brief moment, they both veer towards the edge of life. This is not a tale spun out of fiction, 
It's the astonishing story of our fourth and fifth case studies. In separate corners of the world, these two individuals, with no prior connection, were suddenly thrust into a synchronized dance with death. Each one was enveloped in an out-of-body experience that transcended the usual boundaries of time and space. They spoke of floating above their physical bodies, witnessing the frantic efforts of doctors and nurses fighting to bring them back. But what's truly remarkable is not just their shared near-death experience, but the inexplicable connection they felt with each other. They described a sense of familiarity, a bond that seemed to defy all logic and reason. They had never met, yet they felt as though they were traveling together, guided by the same unseen hand. Their simultaneous recovery is another marvel in this extraordinary tale. At the same exact moment, their hearts began to beat again, their lungs filled with air, and life was restored. But the story doesn't end there. In a twist that seems straight out of a movie, these two individuals would later meet and confirm their shared experience. Throughout their meeting, they found their stories mirrored each other, right down to the minute details, their descriptions of the experience, the emotions they felt, even the visions they had during their near-death encounter, all matched perfectly. Their stories leave us pondering about the mysteries of life, death, and the possible existence of a reality beyond our understanding. These shared journeys, these synchronicities that bind two complete strangers, remind us that there's so much more to explore, so much more to understand. In the face of such mysteries, we can only marvel and ask, what else might we discover if we dare to venture beyond the edge of life? These near-death experiences, as baffling as they are, raise profound questions about our existence. From mysterious lights to unseen guardians, they compel us to ponder the enigma of life and death. As we conclude this journey, remember, every end might just be a new beginning. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of life with us.